Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiz Alam and today we will be looking at the uh, another feature of reconciliation process that is automated cash application. Uh, so let's uh, begin. So as we all know that uh, cash management nowadays has become uh, one of the important concern for every, every business and cash application is an important part of accounts receivable process. It is a process where all the incoming payments are applied against the open invoices. It helps companies uh, to correctly match payments to open sales invoices and efficiently process the payment. Along with that cash application also provides full visibility into the cash flows and outstanding customer uh, debt balance. Now comes the uh, automation of that particular process that is the automated cash application feature. So it enables us to automatically generate a batch of a customer payment and apply, apply them to open invoices. What happens here? The general uh, the generated customer payments are automatically matched and cleared into the system. Uh, like if we uh, link our bank account and other payment platforms, so a good cash flow automation tool will retrie retrieve and reconcile our uh, daily cash flows across the subsidies. Uh, plus, uh, in addition to it, it also reduces the time and cost of payment entry and invoice clearing, lowers down the day's outstanding sale and improves the accounts receivable aging. Since it is an important uh, process, uh, important concept in the accounts receivable process, so it has uh, contributed towards the improvement of the AR aging. So this uh, automated uh, cash application automate our bank uh, reconciliation in the cash application process. So in our NetSuite application, in order to uh, work on this feature that is automated cash application uh, there are certain prerequisites that are required to be uh, accomplished so before uh, firstly we have to see uh, the account the bank account that we are taking uh, must have that uh, particular check mark so for that we'll go into setup uh, accounting under chart of accounts we'll be open a, open an account here so this is the account. Uh, you can see that this box should be checked. If we are going to uh, take this uh, feature, if we are going to work on this feature, so this use match bank data and reconcile uh, account statement pages should be checked. This is the first requisite. Then there are also certain permissions that are required to be taken. Uh, so for that, uh, we should have the permissions of uh, this automated cash application. The access level should be full. Then we should have the customer payment of cre uh, create access level. Then we should have the invoices that is there. That is the edit level. So we should have these access level in order to work on it. Uh, after it, uh, there are certain accounting preferences uh, that uh, needed to be uh, uh, set. So we'll go into accounting preferences under the general sub tab. We'll go down here under the accounts receivable. So here, uh, this is under the accounts receivable, uh, what happens, we have to uh, select a method, like uh, what uh, if, since uh, the payments are applied under this method, the payments are applied onto the open invoices. So if we are going to apply the payments that are not having any invoice number, so there are various options that are available to us, like what kind of a matching logic are we going to uh, take? So we are having these options like apply by payment, to oldest invoices then apply to oldest invoices by date of aging pre aging preferences and then keep payments unapplied so we can define our or specify our preferences if the payments are not having any invoice number so we can define uh, or select those uh, matching logic here so we are done with the prerequisite now we'll see uh, how can we uh, start this uh, automated cash application process so for that we'll go into transaction bank Banking import history, upload file. We'll be uploading a file first. Choose a file. This is the file that I will be selecting. I am not taking any financial institution. I have taken this uh, format, sorry, default parser. Now I have to take the account. I will click on import. 
Now after this, we have to track the status whether our import has been successful or not. So you can see that the status has got completed successfully. After importing the uh, file, as we have imported that particular file, so let me show you the file. What is it? Yeah, you can see that it contains the. This is the uh, template that I have downloaded from the upload page, uh, upload uh, file page. It uh, contains date, then the name of payer in pay, transaction ID, transaction type. The transaction type I have taken is payment. It, it consists of all the incoming payments. Then we have amounts also. If any invoice number is required to be provided, so we can define those uh, invoice numbers here. So this is my Excel uh, file that I have uploaded for that particular bank account. Now we'll go back. Moving ahead, we'll go into transaction bank, match bank data. So here we have to define the account that we have taken. This is the account. So here you can see that the all the payments are uh, appearing here that I have uh, uploaded from that Excel sheet. It contains the payer number and the transaction type is payment. Along with these payments, we are also having checks and deposits here. But we are not, but uh, basically in this session, we are concerned with the payments only. So we'll be seeing that. You can see that all these uh, payments are appearing here now. Uh, we'll go further and either we can click on this automated cash application, it will take us to that page, or we can get into transaction bank. Here we have the option of automated cash application. Now we have to uh, take the account. We have to take that account. This one. So here you can see that this we are on the uh, automated cash application page. Uh, we have taken at least uh, six lines uh, that are uh, there. That is uh, that have been uploaded here. So it uh, you know the status that is provided to us is a. Uh, we want to either we want to review so we will be taking only the payments uh, we are not taking these uh, things here so you can see that the status that is there is ready to submit means that uh, we just have to uh, it is already ready to submit we do not have to review it and the invoice that is used against this payment invoices are uh, being given here if any invoices are there and uh, there are certain things that uh, we have to take care of uh, you can see that this uh, message box here so it, uh, it gives us the notification that this imported payment contains incorrect incorrect customer or invoice information so uh, if we take another one for nrt system so if i take here this one so what happens it will give us a pop-up so this is about the customer mapping rule. What will happen in future? So if I select this make rule, so I have selected Pioneer Corporation for this pair that is NRT system. So whenever any payments are there, that is for the pair NRT system. So the customer against that particular pair that will be used is Pioneer Corporation. And if I want to make it uh, uh, or, you know, uh, make it default for future use, so I can click on make rule or I can uh, click on uh, don't make rules. So I am going to make uh, click on make rule. So you can see that for Pioneer Corporation, uh, the invoices that is there is uh, invoice underscore 4224. So I have taken this. Then again, if we go down here and uh, select a customer. So here I have to take this one again i want to uh, make this uh, uh, apple inclusive as the pair for this one two three four groups and i want to make a rule i have clicked on it now you can see that as we have a uh, made rule or we have selected a customer so the status has changed to to review we just have to review it how how do we review that by clicking on this plus icon 
it will uh, expand it uh, the invoices that contains all the invoice detail to us what is the due date of that invoice what is the original amount what, how much amount are we going to apply so all these things are available apart from this we are also having the ability of viewing all the invoices that are available for this particular customer so we'll click on it so you can see that right now we are having only one invoice for this customer customer and the invoice amount original amount is this and the amount due is this we'll click on save you can collapse it it is also required to be reviewed so what happens uh again we'll select a customer for this invoice let's take this one make rule we'll take another one you can see that as soon as i have a selected customers that a message box has uh, go, is going to be disappeared okay i'm taking this excel limited for this particular pair that is larsen inclusive there is some uh, uh, problem with this customer okay so we will be leaving this now we will be checking the box i am not checking it uh, we will be checking all the payments here okay so as we are done you can see that uh, the, some payments are you know associated with all the invoices and they are ready to be submit we are not taking these checks and deposit here now we will be submitting it you can see that out of the uh, 10 uh, that are given over there seven uh, payments have been generated and three have been excluded of which one contains the check deposit and the nrt system invoice now we'll click on okay you can see that it is under progress we'll refresh it so you can see that now we got the status that all our lines have been processed we got the status of complete and our uh, generation of payment is being successful these payments number are given of which uh, it has been made so if we click uh, any of it like if we view this payment that is hash 141 so here you can see that this is the payment page that is for 5000 the customer that have taken is a sent a shop this is the ar account the account that we have selected is this this is the date of the invoices invoice so we have seen how this uh, payment is there so we are done with generating the payment now if we go back to that particular uh, automated cash application page take an account here that one that we have taken so you can see that now those all the uh, seven payments have been processed and it has been reconciled that is the uh, that is our concerns for today you can see that all those seven payments have been uh, re uh, reconciled only these uh, three are available for this particular bank account so in this way we can do the uh, uh, reconciliation of our uh, all the incoming payments and we can use those payments against all the invoices that are open so that's all about the this feature in case of any uh, doubts and queries you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you